Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So on the ETH chart, we've seen um, continuous increases, price increases from this Friday low, the 19th. Mm, quite promising actually, but not impulsive yet. So there is more the price needs to do to convince us and to confirm actually that a low has formed in all of wave four. Now that's, I mean, that's the main question we're dealing with on this chart, on most, most charts actually. We have um, obviously this ongoing wave four correction here. So A, B, C, that could be actually finished. That's why I'm treating the chart as if, it, if the correction is finished, but it's not confirmed yet. Okay, so we just need to be very, very careful. We need to be watching this, um, the parameters that the analysis gives us to get early warnings if something goes off the yeah, off the road, okay, if, if it deviates from the yellow count, because the yellow count is the short term bullish one, in which we already bottomed in this fourth wave on Saturday, the 13th. So in this count, if wave four really bottomed, we're now moving up in five waves and need to see five waves that form and reach $3,770 to get a first confirmation really that this wave four has bottomed. Now, if wave four is bottomed, then the wave uh, here to the upside, that five wave move would only be possible as a diagonal pattern. So that means the fifth wave would be unfolding after a wave four low. And the, the fifth wave would also be a five wave move. And this here would likely be the first wave of that fifth wave. Then we should get a wave two pullback afterwards and so on, you know, and should go. But for now, we don't even know if the low is in, we can track it and get some bullish parameters for it that need to be respected along the way. However, if the price fails along the way and cannot form five wave pattern instead breaks below support, a support area that the analysis gives us, well, then it was just a high B wave, or well, just a B wave. And we come down in wave C again, okay, in this W X Y pattern. And then this here is an A, B, C pattern, sort of the bearish alternative or bearish scenario I've been sharing with you for the last, well, week or so. So zooming in, going to the one hour chart, you can see that if the fourth wave already bottomed here on the 13th of April, then the wave one topped at around $3,300. That was here on Monday, the 15th. The wave two bottomed around the 19th yeah, here at around 2865. We could now be in a third wave. The problem is because it's a diagonal, the third wave is not impulsive. I mean, that's not an impulse. You can say what you, <laughs> there's no impulse here. So it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky because we can't really say clearly what it is. I mean, it would have to be an ABC structure because the wave one was also an ABC. My best interpretation I can offer is that this was an A wave that might have topped. This here could have been a B wave or at least the price is trying to form a low in that B wave here in this region. And then the C wave rally has started, might reach 3,537 to 3,624. And then we should still get a 4.5. Once we've um, reached this area up there that I just mentioned, I can add a support zone for the fourth wave pullback. And then we can talk about the fifth wave that would, what that would then still be to come. Okay. So these are, um, this is what we need to see from a bullish point of view. However, from a bearish point of view, this here would just be a B wave rally. And if it fails along the way and cannot hold support and also breaks below wave four support, uh, well, yeah, then it's likely just a B wave and it would be within a still unfolding wave four correction. The currently the support area is between 2,952 and $3,114, which means that regardless of whether the B wave is already in or not, if we come down, we need to hold this support region. And if, if it can't, then that's the first indication that we're actually in the white count and would then possibly target 2,600 to $2,500 next. So really the next target for the bulls is to break out above 3,300, which is the next nearest resistance level here as highlighted in green. That's my update about Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content and please check out the channel membership, 
Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.